Hey everybody, good morning. I'm out here in front of a project that I've been working on and I'm realizing I probably should have been filming it this whole time. But I kind of wanted to show what I've been working on. Um, I've decided that I'm going to try getting some ducks, uh, specifically muscovies. And I'm seeing how they can be helpful and effective in a lot of different ways. And I decided that I needed to build some sort of shelter for them. Uh, I was going through all sorts of different ideas and uh, methods and so on. And uh, the more I looked at it, the more I wanted it to be mobile. But uh, a lot of the mobile ideas that I was finding were great for like a flat pasture or something. And uh, things are just not very flat around here. <clears throat> and I had this old uh, truck bed trailer and I thought, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll just build something in it in a, uh, that could be uh, removed if needed so I could still use the trailer itself. And that's kind of what I did. I kind of have to walk through my wood pile to get here, but uh, I did really, really simple structure and I need to reinforce it still. Um, it could twist pretty easy and fall down, but I used scrap wood and some of the milled wood, uh, mill scraps here for the, uh, for the ceiling itself, or the, for the roof structure, I guess I should call it that. I wonder how easy it is to see, but I kind of framed out a uh, roof pitch. I put some lateral boards going the one direction, three of them, and uh, put down some of these mill scraps to uh, create a platform. And I've shingled it with shingles uh, that were left over from our house build. Uh, I've been looking for the right opportunity to use them and this was it. Pretty exciting, I think. It's kind of nice to know that I didn't hang on to all of those for, uh, for no reason. Um, I put it all together kind of last night in, in the dark. <laughs> you know, I started during the afternoon just on a whim and before I knew it I was roofing in the dark, but it, it was kind of good and got it all thrown together. I'm not sure if I'm going to end the video here and upload this or if I'm going to add to it a little bit later, but I might be, you know, I might just hang on to it and uh, add to the video as I finish up the project. All right, I think I've got it all figured out now, so I'll show you what I've done. All right, so this will be the front opening. Uh, I've got ventilation in the front. I've got a big door. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to get that on a hinge. So uh, the door will go here. Inside, I've got it kind of all wrapped in. This foil will allow, you can kind of see the, the light coming through. It lets air through. So it's got some reflection, but it also lets the air through, so there's a lot of ventilation in here. I've got a grid on the one side for ventilation again. I stole the nesting boxes out of my old chicken coop. Um, got them kind of cleaned out. And then I think along the side, you can't really tell when I pull back maybe. Along the side here, um, I'll try to make little spots for them to kind of nest if they don't want to be in the box. We'll see how it all goes. I mean, it's it's really simple, really easy to kind of show you how it's all put together. Um, but it's, you know, it all just looks like foil from the outside. Uh, I hope this will deter some of any predator and if not, I'll add a little more uh, wire mesh to it. So I've moved it out here in front of my house for now, right on the lawn. Um, 
I think we're going to start the ducks over here while I rework where we used to run the chickens. Uh, all of these verbs and, and words that I'm using to describe uh, our situation here makes it kind of clear that, you know, our chickens have gone. Uh, we lost them over the winter to, um, well, during the fall and then over the winter to some predators. Uh, we had a raccoon who did most of the damage. Um, but I think we either had a possum or coyote or kind of both. We've also had an eagle. So uh, we've had quite a few predators around that kind of got our chickens. And um, uh, also our dog passed away, got sick and, and went. And so we didn't have as much protection. But uh, we're gonna give these ducks a try. I'm gonna build a more secure spot. Um, We've got a new puppy that we're training up to help protect everything. And uh, I think this is going to go pretty well. I'm excited to give it a good shot. And and that's that's actually part of the reason why this is all on wheels, honestly, um, is because I, I feel like this is a good time to transition, but I still want to test out a few of the spots. And this way, uh, the house can go with them from spot to spot. Um, there's also the potential that instead of selecting a permanent spot, I'll actually move the ducks around, um, to, uh, like, you know, there's, we're getting muscovies and they, they're supposed to eat a lot of the bugs and slugs and stuff. And I'm thinking maybe this could work to, um, protect mushrooms or help keep the slugs and bugs out of the mushrooms. And so... It's all kind of uh, an idea stage right now, and it may never happen, but I feel like this will allow me to experiment and give it a try, and um, if it settles there, I'm, uh, you know, this will help, help me understand that it'll actually work. Thanks guys for following me on this journey, and, and uh, I guess, Tell me about your ducks if you and anybody has any ducks and you want to tell me some tips and tricks and stuff like that. I, I feel like I can uh, use more wisdom and knowledge from all of you. Thanks so much for watching this video and until next time, thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.